Hey guys, this is Michelle from Life of Canine. This is episode 44 of Talking and Walking. And I'm at the school. I kind of I like walking. Come on, let's go. Um, I like coming up here because I'm able to. There's nobody up here right now. School's not in session. Because um, I'm able, because I have big roads to walk on. And it's kind of nice. And yes, I know I have one of my dogs She's dragging the line. She's still on the line. She's still wearing it six foot. It's kind of legal. I think. I think the law says must be in hand, but anyway, hey, go over here. Um, so anyway, my point. So anyway, this is episode 44 of Talking and Walking. Ooh, feel that breeze. Um, so let's talk about taboo subject tonight. Nope. Let's talk about the subject of muzzles and why it is important to muzzle train. Let's go. Why it's important to muzzle train your dog. So, a lot of dogs have issues at the vet's office. And we all know that, you know, the vet's office can be kind of dicey. So a lot of energy can be in there at one time. There's a lot of intensity. And if your dog has issues with it, it's a good place to wear a muzzle. There's nothing to be ashamed about that. If your dog has issues of being in public and it gets reactive and I don't know has potential to redirect, it's a good place to wear a muzzle. You know, it's really sad because a lot of dogs end up getting stuck behind fences or stuck in cages or stuck in these pens simply because they cannot be in public. They are too their state of arousal is way too high. Everything's setting them off, and but you really kind of need to get them out there, even if you bring them under that threshold. And you know, you do what I do, which so I want to take kind of take a, give you a look of what's here. So there's nothing. There are no people. There are no dogs here. Let's go. Um, there's nothing here. Come on, good girl. And so you know, places like this are good places to start. You know, getting dogs back into, I don't know, reality. Get them up behind their fences. But with it being said, you, the dogs really, dogs really need to be muzzled for everybody's safety. Because you just never know. It takes only one, one time, one incident. And is it better to muzzle train and put like, invest in a good muzzle? Absolutely. You know, those ones that look, I, I don't know how, the ones that groomers use are not what I am talking about. Um, those are strictly for grooming purposes. Those should never be put on. Dogs cannot pant in those. Um, especially, you know, in this heat, come on. So let's um, use some common sense. But a nice, you know, Baskerville or, you know, Jafco. And Jafco actually makes a clear one, so it's not so Hannibal Lecter looking. I know, and there's other ones on the market and whatnot. But my whole point is, is that we as a society have a tendency to shame and do a lot of shaming when something doesn't fit into what we consider the norm. And that's maybe something that, you know, we really need to maybe start addressing um, trainers and, you know, even the public. You know, we should never shame or look twice, look cross-eyed at somebody because their dog is in a muzzle. And I commend that person for putting a muzzle on that dog and keeping the dog safe, the public safe, and themselves safe. So, anyway, just it's kind of something that's been on my mind. Have a great night. Enjoy the very nice breeze. And we'll be talking to you later. Bye.